What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Ngayong araw, siyempre, meron tayong panibagong lesson. Pero bago tayo pumunta doon, balikan muna natin yung nakaraan kong itinuro sa inyo. Yun ay ang introduction to integers and absolute value of a number. So kung nais yung balikan yun, ilalagay ko sa description sa baba yung link nun. So moving on, ang lesson natin today ay... Yan. So... Actually, yung series na ituturo ko sa inyo is operations on integers na. So, yung una is, yan nga, addition of integers. So, meron tayong dalawang gagawing method. Una is using the number line. Yung pangalawa namang method ay gagamit na tayo ng rules in adding integers. So, without much further ado, punta na tayo sa ating lesson. So, punta na tayo sa lesson natin. Ngayon ay mag a tayo ng integers. Pero una natin gagawin is we will use the number line. So, we have to take note of this 2. Mahalaga to. So, kapag meron tayo nakitang negative, pupunta tayo sa kaliwa. At kapag positive naman, pupunta naman tayo sa kanan. So, let us start. Number 1, add the following integers. Una is positive 1 plus positive 2. So, asa ng positive 1? Ito po. Okay, so, ang idadagdag sa, dadagdag sa kanya ay positive 2. So, pag positive to the right, dalawang beses daw. So, 1 and then 2. So, saan tayo nag-stop? Sa positive 3. So, ang sagot dyan ay positive 3. Let's have number 2. Negative 4 plus negative 2. So, nasa na negative 4? Locate muna natin siya. So, ito, negative 4. And then, plus negative 2 daw. So, negative means to the left. So, dalawa daw to the left. So, 1 and then 2. The answer is negative 6. Yan. So, negative 6 tayo nag-stop. So, answer ay negative 6. Okay, let's have number 3 question. Negative 5 plus negative 3. So, locate ulit natin si negative 5. Ito po siya. And then, plus negative 3. Negative means to the left, tatlo. So, 1, 2, and then 3. So, the answer is negative 8. Let's have number 4 question. Positive 5 plus positive 2. So, asa ng positive 5? Ito po. Plus positive 2. So, positive means to the right. Dalawang best daw po. So, 1 and then 2. Okay, nag-stop tayo sa positive 7. So, the answer is positive 7. Let us have number 5. Positive 4 plus 0. So, we have here positive 4. And then, plus 0. So, 0 means hindi tayo aalis dun sa positive 4. Kasi wala namang tayong puputang iba. Kasi zero siya. So, automatic, the answer will be positive 4. Because, kahit anong number na in-add natin sa zero, yun pa rin ang sagot. Okay, let's have another set of examples. Let's add the following integers. Number 6, negative 1 plus positive 2. So, first, let's locate negative 1. So, ito pa yung negative 1. And then, sabi po dyan, plus positive 2. So, positive means to the right. Dalawa daw po. So, 1 and then 2. We stop at positive 1. So, the answer is positive 1. Let's have number 7. Positive 4 plus negative 2. So, lo let's locate first positive 4. So, ito po yun. And then, sabi dyan, negative 2. Negative means to the left. Dalawa. So, 1 and then 2. So, the answer is positive 2. Positive 4 plus negative 2 is positive 2. Let's have number 8 example. Positive 5 plus negative 3. So, let's look at positive 5. Ito po yun. And then, plus negative 3. Negative means to the left. Tatlong beses. So, 1, 2, and then 3. So, we stop at positive 2. So, the answer is positive 2. Let's have number 9, negative 5 plus positive 2. Let's locate negative 5. And then, positive means to the right, dalawang beses. So, 1 and then 2. 
we stopped at negative 3, so the answer is negative 3. Negative 5 plus positive 2 is negative 3. Okay, number 10, negative 4 plus positive 5. So, let's locate negative 4. Ito po siya. And then, positive 5 daw po, 5 to the right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. We stopped at positive 1, so the answer is positive 1. So, kanina, nag-add tayo ng integers gamit ang number line. Ngayon naman, para pagka sobrang laki na ng mga numbers, hindi na natin magagamit yung number line. So, gagamitin na natin yung rules in adding integers. Madali lang po ito. Pag like signs, ibig sabihin ng like signs, parehas positive at parehas negative. Pag nag-add po tayo nun, i-add lang natin or pa-plus lang natin yung kanilang absolute values. And then, pagtapos natin i-plus, kukopyahin natin yung common sign. Kung parehas silang positive, yung sagot ay positive. At kung parehas naman silang negative, ang sagot will also be negative. So, example, 15 plus 5. So, parehas silang positive. So, add natin yung kanilang absolute value. 15 plus 5 is 20. And ang kanilang sign ay positive. So, this is also positive. Let's have number 2, negative 10 plus negative 2. So, same sila ng sign. So, add natin yung kanilang uh, absolute value. So, absolute value nito 10. Ito naman 2. So, 10 plus 2 is 12. And then, copy their common sign. Dahil pareha silang negative, this will also be negative. Okay, let's move on to unlike signs. Pag unlike signs naman, we will subtract. Yung mga absolute value ng mga numbers, subtract natin yon And then, after that, kukopyain naman natin yung sign ng mas mataas yung absolute value. So, here, example, negative 10 plus 4. So, subtract natin yung kanilang absolute value. So, 10 plus 4 will be 6. And then, ang mas mataas ang absolute value ay yung negative 10. So, kukopyain natin yung negative. So, that will be negative 6. And then, Number 4, 12 plus negative 7, magkaiba ulit ng sign. So, subtract ulit natin yung kanilang absolute value. So, 12 minus absolute value nito ay 7. So, 12 minus 7 is 5. Ang mas mataas ang absolute value ay 12 at yan ay positive. So, this will also be positive. So, yan yung sagot. Let's have another set of examples. Number 5, negative 4 plus 5. Magkaiba ng sign, so ima-minus natin. So, 5 minus, absolute value nito ay 4. So, 5 minus 4 is 1. Ang mas matas na absolute value ay 5. Ayan ay positive, so this will also be positive. And then, number 6, negative 8 plus 10. Magkaiba ulit ng sign. So, minus natin. 10 minus absolute value ng 8. Ay 8. So, 10 minus 8 is 2. Mas mataas yung positive. So, this will also be positive. And then, positive 10 plus negative 30. Magkaiba sila ng sign. So, absolute value nito ay 30. So, 30 minus 10 is 20. And then, ang mas mataas ang absolute value ay ito. So, this will be negative 20. And then, last, 25 plus negative 35. So, okay ba ulit ng sign? So, kaya yung minus natin. Absolute value nito ay positive 35. So, basta pag negative yan, o kaya positive. Tapos, kukunin natin yung absolute value always positive. So, positive 35 minus 25, that will be 10. And then, mas mataas yung absolute value ni negative 35. So, sa kanya yung kukopyayin nating sign. Negative. So, the answer is negative 10. So, let us add the following integers without using the number line. So, number 1, 5 plus 3. So, parehas po yan ng sign. Both positive. So, add lang natin yung kanilang absolute value. So, 5. And then, 3, 5 plus 3 is 8. And then, 6. And positive 10. So, parehas ulit sila ng sign. So, add lang natin. Positive 6 will be 6. And 
absolute value ng 10 ay also 10. So, 6 plus 10 ay 16. And then, next is absolute value. Uh, look, na, look at it first. Kung parehas ba sila ng sign. So, parehas sila ng sign. Both negative. So, kunin muna natin absolute value. Absolute value ng negative 4 ay positive 4. And then, plus. Absolute value ng negative 10 ay positive 10. So, 4 plus 10 ay 14. Since parehas silang negative, this will also be negative. Number 4, negative 25 plus negative 15. Parehas po ulit negative. So, add po natin yung kanilang absolute value. Ang absolute value po nito ay positive 25. Ang absolute value naman nito ay positive 15. So, add daw po natin yun. 25 plus 15 ay 40. Since parehas silang negative, this will also be negative. And then, let's have number 5. Negative 30 plus negative 10. So, parehas ulit silang negative. So, add ulit natin yung kanilang absolute values. Absolute value ng negative 30 ay positive 30. Absolute value ng negative 10 ay positive 10. So, 30 plus 10 is 40. And then, parehas silang negative. So, this will also be negative. Let's have number 6. Negative 8 plus 2. Magkaiba po ng sign. So, pag magkaiba ng, ng sign, i-minus natin yung kanilang absolute values. So, anong absolute value ng 8? That will be positive 8. Absolute value ng 2 ay 2. So, 8 minus 2 is 6. Pero, ang mas mataas ang absolute value ay negative 8. So, kukopyay natin yung negative 8. So, the answer is negative 6. And then, number 7. 10 plus negative 12. This is positive, this is negative. Magkaiba sila. So, therefore, mag-subtract tayo ng kanilang absolute value. So, absolute value ng 10 ay 10. Absolute value ng negative 12 ay 12 units. So, here, i-minus daw po natin yung kanilang absolute value. So, 12 minus 10 is 2. Ang mas mataas ang absolute value ay negative 12. So, negative siya. And then, ito naman tayo. Posit negative 10 plus positive 10. Magkaiba ng sign. So, subtract natin. So, absolute value negative 10 ay 10. Absolute value ng 10 ay also 10. So, 10 minus 10 is 0. So, dahil 0 na yan, wala na po tayong kukopyahang sign kasi nga, 0 naman na siya. Ang 0 ay walang sign. So, we have to take note na kapag nag-add tayo ng opposites like this, negative 10, ang opposite niya, positive 10. Pag nag-add tayo ng opposites, ang sagot ay laging 0. Let's have number 9. 20 plus negative 40. So, this is positive, this is negative. Magkaiba ng sign. So, mag-minus tayo na kanilang absolute values. So, 20 T, ang absolute value niya ay 20. Negative 40, ang kanyang absolute value ay positive 40. So, i-minus natin. 40 minus 20 is 20. Ang mas mataas, ang absolute value ay negative 40. So, kukopyay natin yun. Negative 20. And then, last, negative 36 plus 20 or plus positive 20. So, this is negative, this is positive. Magkaiba sila ng sign. So, Subtract natin yung kanilang absolute values. Negative 36, ang absolute value ay positive 36. And then 20, and then positive 20, ang kanyang absolute value ay 20. So, subtract natin yung kanilang absolute values. So, 36 minus 20 is 16. And then, mas mataas yung negative 36 ng absolute value. So, copy natin yung negative. So, that will be negative 16. So, please, tandaan ng rules. Pag parehas ang sign, i-add lang yung kanilang absolute values and then copy the common signs. Kagaya nito, positive sila. So, positive yung sagot. Ito naman, parehas negative. So, negative naman yung sagot. And then, pag magkaiba ng sign, i-minus ang kanilang absolute values. At kung ano ang mas mataas ang absolute value, yun ang kukopihan natin ng sign. So, like for example, number 6, si 8 ang mas mataas, or si negative 8 ang mas mataas na absolute value. So, negative yung kinopya nating sign. 
for the answer. So, tandaan yan. Yan ay mahalaga. So, that is all for today, guys. Salamat po sa panonood ng aking video lesson. So, please support me by subscribing to my channel and also clicking the notification bell below para ma-notify kayo sa lahat ng mga video lessons ko. So, shoutout sa lahat po ng mga subscribers and sa lahat po ng mga nanonood and sa mga estudyante ko. Goodbye, everybody. God bless and stay safe.